Now, let's get one thing straight about these early days of slavery in the colonies. Now, not like I want to paint this as no bed of roses, but it might not be as simple as you all suppose is. Uh, I'm sure for the African, like myself, slavery was hell. Damn straight! But at first, it wasn't exactly what you would all tell. In fact, here from our tale, here, our tale from popular history diverges, and from mountains of evidence, a new truth emerges. You're losing us, brother! Where are you going with this? If you'd be quiet and let the man finish. Thank you. Look, see, the British had no model for what to do with people they bought. For them, indentured and slavery was about equal. Early slaves weren't treated as later would be, treated as not even an animal should be. I'm done. <laughs> would you calm down? Fool, like the man said, like everybody else, those early Africans were freed. Wait, where are we? Correct. Uh, 25. 25? No, no, we haven't gone that far. I still haven't said. I said I'm done. We, because okay. uh, uh, oh, early I slaves. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, my bad. All right. Um, can you take it from see Brits? See the Brits? Or yeah. Yeah. You. All right. So to Brits, buying slaves for labor wasn't all that different than laying out cash for an indentured servant. So like those indentured were freed after several years hard labor, they treated Africans the same way as their English peers. I'm done. Would you be quiet, man, and let the man finish? Like everybody else in those early days, Africans were free. Correct! When their period of service was completed into colonial society, Africans found themselves greeted. One cause for this likely manumission Man, who? was that all back then days, a lot of Africans was Christians. And if you was listening when we told you before, having Christians as slaves was a bit fat no. So as European colonists had advancement opportunities, once free Africans had the chance at upward mobility, became tradesmen, craftsmen, Farmers, well-respected, well-known, purchased land and bought slaves and what? servants of their own, oh voted, exercised all their civil rights as other free men. We even saw marriage between Africans and Europeans. Whoa, back that, back this thing up. This is too fast for me. Y'all got ex-slave Africans walking around free, owning land and slaves and English wives? Africans living typical colonial lives? I'm serious, yo. We about to fight. Okay. Uh, this, this, y'all talking don't sound right. Y'all are challenging my whole I don't even know. How is what y'all saying even possible? We're not saying that it wasn't damned odd. The whole world was new, as far as they saw it. Despite dark skin, they were still all men. It just wasn't that big of a deal for them. What's more, it should be duly emphasized, for Africans, there was no particular bias. There were Africans in Europe that were highly regarded. Histories full of Africans in Europe widely applauded. Before anyone had learned what, it would, be what would become common rule, as far as Europe was concerned, Africa was cool. And I love myself the way I